We're here to protest you know, climate inaction um, and we're here because the kids are not alright and that's like our main narrative right now because we're not alright with what the government is doing and not taking enough climate action. We need speed, we need you know, um, a fair, just and fair transition into um, renewables from fossil fuels, we need you know, lots of other things and I think that we're, we're annoyed that the government seems to think that it's our responsibility and it's not theirs and I think that that's just a ridiculous thing to put on because we don't have time, you know, we are kids, I'm 16, I'm still at school, I, I don't have the time, I don't have the resources, I don't have the power to be able to go, well I'm just going to do all this I think that they do and I think that it's I think that they expect us to do it and I think that that's just a complete disgrace on their part Well, I think that the climate movement I think it is building up more steam, you know, I think that I shouldn't have to. I think that we should have, we should be able to take a step back because I, I don't think that this should be a thing. I think that the government should be able to do this without us shouting at them to do it. But you know, I think that with the UK government trying to introduce new fossil fuel projects, like um, like the other day they were proposing Rosebank. I think um, you know they're they're past Jackdaw on the first of June. They're Campbell, all these new oil fields, and you know, J Jacoby Small, who's the new energy secretary, is saying, you know, we want to get every drop of oil from the North Sea. And I think that's, they know that it's not sustainable, um, and I think that that's a reason why a lot of people are kind of saying, like, well, we can't keep going this way, and I think that that's what's given the climate. Is it me? I think they definitely the Scottish government should do more, you know, they have their targets, but you know, targets aren't good if, you know, we, we need speed. That's what I think our main you know, kind of objective should be. I think we need speed in the climate movement. I think that I'm using the UK government as examples right now, but I think that the Scottish government needs to do more and they need to do it fast and they need to, you know, we have so many options for renewables. We have so many options to be able to place more money to transport into renewables. We have so many ways to do it and I just think they're not doing it or they're not doing it fast enough. Climate justice! No! Climate justice! any other day. We've been doing this for years and we haven't seen change. The kids are here to demand justice. I'm actually really glad about the turnout. So I'm from Glasgow but and I haven't really been to Edinburgh much for these things but I'm definitely impressed with the amount of people that came and the amount of kids as well. Um, I think after COP it's been quite difficult because so many promises were made and nothing's, none of them are being kept. So we're just trying to keep the movement going, keep the pace. Definitely great amount of frustration. It's difficult to keep going, but we know we have to. And you know, the UK government recently uh, announced new licences for oil, oil exploration, uh, the ban on fracking in England has been lifted. Do you think that's going to motivate people more? I definitely think so. I think we'll be getting a wider range of people as well coming to join us, because you know, it's been on the news and more people are seeing the injustices happening.